So many of you guys have been asking me to do an updated oil fragrances video and questions about oil perfumes in general. So I've teamed up with Generic Perfumes once again to delve into some of their new releases because they have released some oil dupes of well, new fragrances. So I have a box of goodies next to me along with some home fragrances because I was really curious to discover their home fragrance collection. I recently learned that they do hotel scents and I jumped on it because they have these little diffusers that you can have your home smell like the Ritz Carlton, W and so on and so forth. So I grabbed a couple of those. I'll get into that at the end of the video, but let's jump into the new goodies from generic perfumes. If you guys don't know, Generic Perfumes is a brand based in Kuwait that creates oil fragrances. You can buy them in any size, in different formulations. So if you don't want oil specifically, they do have a fragrance spray version. For some fragrances, they have lotions. They have an array of different offerings in a bougie scent. In a luxury scent or a designer scent, they do a dupe. So Let's see what I have. I grabbed a bunch of these. These are their standard 10 ml roll-on oil. So I'll go through these first. We're discovering everything together today. The only thing that I've opened, aside from taking off all the cellophane packaging, is one of the home fragrances that I have had in my bathroom that I have next to me that I'll touch on as we go along. So the first one I got here, this is Can't Stop Loving You from Killian. There's come in these little multicolored roller balls. Okay, off the bat, it is a very sweet orange blossom type of scent. I have not smelled the original. Some of these I think I may have smelled the original, some of them no. This reminds me of like a toned down Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. Yeah, marshmallowy as well, it has this marshmallowy sweet base, but very orange blossom. I'm gonna put this on a, I'm gonna roll it on a blotter. I'm smelling in here as well something kind of earthy, a little bit green. Could be like a figgy type of thing, could be like oak moss. It's nice, it's very grounding. I like that balance. I feel like this is a lot more balanced than Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, which to me does come off very, very sweet. This still has the same exact sweet orange blossom note in it though. I like this better than Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. So if you guys wanted to check out that fragrance, but Killian's known to be very expensive, you could either get like a little tiny, they have these even little tiny guys that you could just sample um, in an oil version. And what I like about the oils is that they do generally last a very, very long time on the skin. I don't find it to be true when people say that they don't project. It's like, a case to case basis, right? Just the way it is with perfume. Some fragrances have a huge scent bubble. Some of them, no. The same thing with oils. Like I've been wearing oils for many, many years as has Mr. Scented. And sometimes he like puts it on upstairs and I can smell it downstairs and it's an oil. So yeah, like it really, really varies. But anyway, yeah, they have these little tiny versions as well if you wanted to sample. Okay, let's see what we have next. This is like opening like a little Christmas present. I don't even know what's in here. Idle Hour. I think this is an Ex Nihilo fragrance. Ooh, this is weird and interesting. I think this is a little bit more masculine. It smells has like a fresh, like out of the shower clean kind of woody, clean masculine scent. I don't think I smell any florals in here. I think I remember this fragrance having a note of Akigala wood which does have this freshness to it in general. All the fragrances that I have that contain that note, they have this very fresh, uplifting, woody vibe. I think this is masculine. I like it though. This one is La Valliere. This is a newer release from the YSL private collection. This is kind of fruity and figgy. This reminds me of my fig candle from Le Labo. That one has fig and black currant. I don't know what this one has. Oh. I looked up the notes, fig and black currant and rose. Yeah, this totally smells like my, I have it right here. It totally smells like my fig candle from Le Labo. This is, this is a dream come true because how I want to rub this all over my body, you guys don't know. I love the scent of like a juicy fruity fig and with black currant, ugh, I love this. 
I love this. I think I would even, after smelling this, I, I think I would explore getting the original as well. This is another thing that I love with the oils. It gives you an opportunity to sample any expensive niche fragrances that are maybe hard to come by otherwise. Maybe you don't have a boutique in your area or maybe like the samples themselves are expensive. This gives you enough wear to really figure out if you like the scent. So I really like it for discovering niche scents. What have we next? Okay, Musque Outre Blanc. This one, I think, is from the Guerlain collection. I like musk. I can't smell it out of here. Oh, this is really soft, delicate, feminine, not overpowering. Little fluffy little cloud. A fluffy little musk cloud. Like a pink little cartoony fluffy cloud. I, I love this too. Oh, this is very, very nice. This is a very non-intrusive musk. Like, if you don't like Narcissos, you don't like that musk, this is not like that at all. This is a very clean musk without going too soapy. Oh, there's a pesky fly in this room. It's very delicate, powdery, clean, very non-intrusive, airy. But this does something really special. It smells upscale. It doesn't smell just plain clean. There's a milkiness to it. There's a really, like... A depth but very fluffy light so yeah this as well as I would say of the ones I've smelled so far this one and the La Valliere those two are for me okay next one is Jasmine Musk I believe this is a new Narciso I can smell it right out of here this is a statement piece kind of scent this is one of the ones that come in the gold bottles those are all much more powerful like they really bring that mm factor this would be a special occasion scent Definitely sweet, like a sweet, intense jasmine and um, almost vanillic. Beautiful, but very statement piece, very attention grabbing. Like, this is a full makeup situation kind of scent. This is one that I like to have, but on occasion only. So, for me, just having the oil will do because the amount of times that I'm gonna wear it, this is gonna cover me like and beyond and next is the gris charnel extrait this one i've been really curious to try so if you guys know me and in my previous videos i spoke about the original gris charnel and how initially i really didn't like it but then i started layering it with the Le Labo lotion and it became my most complimented fragrance and now i love it so then i wanted to smell the extrait and out of here also very strong i don't need to roll this one i can smell it right out of here i like this actually on first whiff without having put it on the skin. I like this actually better first impression wise than the original Gris Charnel. It's a little bit more smoky, I think. I almost like I'm tempted to put this on right now. It's a lot more like balsamic and rich, woody. I, I think I like the, based off of the oil, I like the extrait better. Yeah, this just kind of ups everything, but in a very, very good way. It's sweeter, it's richer, woodier, more balsamic, and more vanillic. Yeah, beautiful. Very, very expensive smelling. Okay, we're on my last 10 ml. Ah, the Fleur Narcotique Extrait. So you guys know how much I love the original Fleur Narcotique. I talked about it in this video here. And the Extrait, oh my god, we have to know. I, I'm a sucker for an extra version of a fragrance that I already love. Even one that I don't love, I'm like still interested because I'm like, oh, maybe it's different. Maybe I'll like it more. So this smells to me exactly like Fleur Narcotique, but a lot more concentrated. It's very nice. I think this would bring a lot more performance. I think the oil in general will bring a lot more performance. It does tend to extend the performance of fragrances, which is another advantage that I find with oils. This one, it's juicier. I would say it's juicier. It's less airy than the original Fleur Narcotique. And I have the oil from generic perfumes of the original Fleur Narcotique and it's spot on. Like all of their fragrance oils that they do are incredibly, incredibly accurate. To this day, of all the ones that I've tried, probably as a whole the most accurate representations of the original scent so you're pretty confident smelling the oil and knowing what the original fragrance smells like okay i have two little guys now i think these are the new tom fords the new cherry tom fords 
I hopped on that cherry train and then I got right off. I don't know what happened, but I am no longer like massively into cherry. So I just wanted to try them and I wanted to show you guys that they do have these little 5 mls as well, which are super cute and less expensive. This is cherry smoke. This is just smoky or lost cherry. This smells like a smoky or lost cherry with like a little bit of like animalic, maybe like oud in there or something. It's cool. It's cool. It's very cherry. And this one must be the electric cherry. This is a lot fruitier, zingier. This reminds me a little bit of the old Escada cherry in the air. Very nice, uplifting, very flirty, very girly. I have not tried them on the skin. I don't know how they dry down or develop. This is all first impressions. But of the two, I think I actually like the cherry smoke better. I like that intensity and this like leathery, oody kind of vibe that it has with the cherry. It's like a more dangerous lost cherry. For those of you that do not like oils, for whatever the reason may be, you want to spray the fragrance on yourself. They do have sprays so they'll send it to you in one of these it comes packaged inside sits nicely secure i've never had any damage on these and then you get a 30 mil you can repackage it into your own if you prefer but this is what the bottles will look like and they send the little sprayer separately in your package so what you do you open it you pop the sprayer on this one is Te Cashmere from Dior. I loved that fragrance when I sampled it, but how miserable the performance was, I was like, I can't buy it. I cannot. And a lot of the Dior's I find had that issue where the scent is amazing, like probably my favorite private collection of all of the designer private collections, but a lot of them have really poor performance. Te Cashmere was one of them. So I got the spray because this is tea scent. I like to spray all over the place and sometimes I like to spray in the room so this one for me wasn't really suitable as an oil so i wanted it as a spray and it's strong smelling it out of here is strong i have not used it but already off of first impression it's intense it's like a a citrusy uplifting green tea type of scent it smells like a very elegant very relaxing space let's get into the home fragrances so if you guys are also home fragrance lovers like myself i love a good bougie candle, a bougie bougie, <laughs> um, and nice diffusers. These are kind of tough to get out. Let's give her a shake. Okay, this one is the Ritz Carlton. I have not smelled this one. The only one that I have smelled is the Shangri-La, which I currently have in my bathroom. I put only four of these reeds. It's mild. It doesn't, um, it fills the room a bit, but it's like one of those scents. It's like it's inception. Like you don't realize that it's there, but it makes you feel good in the space. And then you're like, oh, it's pleasant in here. And it doesn't smell like a bathroom. This is kind of a gentle green scent with maybe like notes of tea and some spices. Very mild, very pleasant, almost a little bit like nutty. Beautiful. And uh, I would probably stick a little bit more reeds in there to fill the space more. Anyway, I digress. I was going to talk to you guys about the Ritz Carlton one. I think the next they should do is make candles. Generic perfumes, please make note. And I would like to see candles from you next. So I will admit to you guys a big confession and I have never stayed at the Ritz Carlton. So I can't tell you what the real thing smells like, but sounded fancy. So this one is a lot more like kind of fresh floral, peachy, I find with a lot of these hotel scents, they're not very intense and very intrusive. They do just kind of fill the space and create an ambiance and create an enjoyable atmosphere for you. This does smell very nice, a lot fresher than the Shangri-La one. I prefer the Shangri-La one. And the last one is the W Hotel. This one is very fresh, kind of lemony, minty, uplifting. It's hard to tell off the paper. I would really need to stick those reeds in there to get a better impression. But of the ones that I have, I'll say the Shangri-La is my favorite but they're all really beautiful and like really nice, really hotel-like ambient space scents. I want to try putting them into like maybe a diffuser, like maybe my diffuser. I just happen to have this handy next to me and I'm like really pulling that cable. Um, but yeah, I, I just run lavender essential oil in here in the evenings, but a lot of you guys ask me if you could put oils in the diffuser. I've tried with some other fragrance oils and it does fill the space. Like you get the results you're looking for, it totally works. Now I'm not a healthcare professional and I don't know whether 
you should be running that in the air. Maybe something to ask somebody who knows chemistry, but it does it work? Yeah, it does fill the space with the scent. I've tried it and it works. So that's all I can tell you in that sense, but I don't know if it's like harmful and maybe you shouldn't be breathing it and always have to add that disclaimer in there. So that's it for the new releases that I have from Generic Perfumes. I don't have a code as of this moment that I'm filming, but I'm gonna ask them. And if there is a code, then you'll see it on the screen and it'll be in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed. And leave me a comment down below with a fragrance that you love and you would like to maybe see duped, if whether it's a discontinued fragrance or maybe a niche scent that doesn't have very good longevity. And maybe we can all kind of help each other out in the comments. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.